Hey everybody, this is Harold from Living in a Hill Country. Just like everyone else, we're concerned about the future of this country and our preparedness to take care of ourselves when the inevitable happens. One thing we are doing, we are stockpiling our food, and specifically we're looking at our long-term food supply for when our regular stockpile is depleted. We've done some reviews, researched the company, and we've decided on four Patriots. So we made an order, we received that order in the other day. Today we're going to do an unboxing, to kind of an inventory, kind of give you our thoughts on it, and then later on we'll do a taste test. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, right here in the hill country of Texas. So here's basically what we received in the mail. It was all in one box. And but it, it was separated, the uh, tote was separate from the two packages. But uh, the orders that were made, um, I was able to uh, purchase a 72 hour survival food kit and receive a 72 hour survival food kit free. And the total amount of that I paid $36.95. Then I went and I went ahead and ordered a four week kit and received two additional free 72 hour survival food kits and that was $197 so the total amount spent was $233.95 and in this each one of them is uh, individually wrapped and it uh, looks like we have uh, creamy rice and vegetable dinner American's finest mac and cheese and then it looks like a package of maple brown sugar oatmeal maple brown sugar oatmeal is my favorite <laughs> I don't know if theirs will stand up to the maple brown sugar that I normally eat here is the other one uh, American's finest mac and cheese Creamy rice and vegetable dinner. And more maple brown sugar oatmeal. Okay. So it comes in this tote. And then you get this. All oh, their little flyers here. Read this first. Uh, special offer. $25 coupon on purchase of $100 or more. And uh, some other notes on the food. The food is rated to uh, survive 25 years without spoiling, so it's guaranteed um, that you can keep it. Here's the two other 72-hour uh, survival food kits that I got. And I'm going to assume or guess that they probably have the same thing. Creamy rice and vegetable dinner. Maple brown sugar, oatmeal. And America's finest mac and cheese. So I'm going to guess that the other 72 uh, hour survival food packet is the same. So we won't open that. We'll just set it over here. So let's take a look at what we got here. So we have in this tote four weeks of food. And with the 72 hour kits about 12 days. So that's uh, might as well say two weeks. So right now we have about six weeks of food based on um, the calculations. And so it depends upon how many calories or how much you eat during the day, I guess. But this is supposed to be enough to sustain you uh, for that period of time. And so anyway, so let's take a look at what we have here. So we have um, old-fashioned vegetable pudding. Promised Land Powdered Milk. Buttermilk Pancakes. America's Finest Mac and Cheese. Long Grain White Rice. Dinner Dinner Bell Broccoli Bake. Mac and 
mac and cheese. That's the broccoli bake. Frank's favorite Alfredo. Creamy rice and vegetable dinner. Buttermilk pancakes. Fireside stew. Long grain white rice. Long grain white rice. Grammy's sweet oatmeal. Creamy rice and vegetable dinner. Fireside stew. Long grain white rice. Old fashioned vanilla pudding. Granny's sweet oatmeal. Frank's favorite Alfredo. Grammy's sweet oatmeal. And the last packet here is Grammy's sweet oatmeal. So I went ahead and unpacked everything and then uh, kind of arranged it by meals and or food topic, I guess. I don't know how else to put that. But here's uh, what it uh, comes down to. We have, of course, these, which are the creamy rice and vegetable dinners. Got three of those. America's favorite mac and cheese. And then, of course, the maple brown sugars. Those came in the 72-hour survival kit. Uh, so, and uh, the other ones, everything else that is uh, differently packaged, as you can see, um, is uh, stuff that came in the four-week supply. So what we have here is long grain white rice, four packages of those. We have Frank's favorite Alfredo, two packages of those. We have a fireside stew, two packages of those. We have some more American favorite mac and cheese. Looks like two packages of those. We have a dinner bell broccoli bake. Two packages of those. Uh, two more packages of the creamy rice and vegetable dinner. Then here for like, it must be dessert, I guess, is the old fashioned vanilla pudding. Uh, we have two packages of uh, powdered Promised Land, or Promised Land Powdered Milk. <clears throat> we have Buttermilk Pancakes, two packages of those, four packages of the Grammy's Sweet Oatmeal, and then well, those are the three Maple Brown Sugar Oatmeals that came with the 72 hour survival food kit. So, Based on what I'm looking at here, of course, uh, is it worth the money? Well, of course it is. It's worth the money based on the fact that it will provide you food in the aspect of the, or in the term of events that you cannot find or your food supply has de deplenished. So, it is definitely worth the money to invest. Now, these have a 25 year shelf life guaranteed of course and so you can keep it for until you break the seal on the packages the life of the food in there is 25 years so that's a plus and uh, trust me this will probably still be in the package after I'm long gone so anyway just another step on taking the uh, steps we need to prepare ourselves for the inevitable and the possibility of no food or inability to provide a uh, direct resource of food. So, Okay, we already got things started here in the kitchen. Uh, we're going to be cooking up all three of the meals that come in the 72-hour survival food kit. 
maple and brown sugar, the creamy rice of vegetable dinner, and the America's Fudge Mac and Cheese. Each one of them require boiling water, um, certain amounts like eight cups, two and uh, I think it's uh, uh, two and a half cups, and this is uh, three and three and two thirds cups. Uh, you stir the there's absor uh, oxygen absorber uh, packets in each one of these. You have to remove. Then you stir the contents into the boiling water, uh, stir it up, let it cook for a few minutes, and then set it aside for a few minutes based on the, the directions. Um, there are eight servings of the uh, maple and brown sugar oatmeal, uh, 210 calories uh, per serving. Uh, creamy rice and vegetable dinner, there's four servings, uh, 260 calories per serving. And the American Mac and Cheese has four servings. 260 calories per serving. So we're going to get this cooked up and then we'll, we'll get the taste test taken care of. Okay, we just finished up with the mac and cheese. We're going to turn off our heat here. Uh, it says to remove it from the heat and let it stand for two to three minutes and uh, then let it thicken up and then it'll be ready to serve. So. so we finished cooking everything up. I have it set up on the counter over here. Uh, we're going to start out with the creamy rice and vegetable dinner and uh, let's get that a, give that a shot. Take a look at the finished product here. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, really thick. Uh, looks really uh, filling. Smells really good. That actually tastes really good. Really good there. The next thing we're going to do is the mac and cheese. Now the mac and cheese, I did that a little bit later. So it hasn't quite thickened up completely to its uh, consistency. I'd like to see it. Now I might have gotten a little bit more water than what was required in this because it's not quite sticking together. And uh, it probably needs to sit a little bit longer uh, to thicken up a little bit more. But um, looks like your regular mac and cheese that you get at the store, right? So we're going to give that a test, a taste test. Smells like mac and cheese, of course. Tastes good. Um, doesn't taste that bad at all. Uh, tastes like your normal mac and cheese that you can get at the store, so good there. Here's a big test. The uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal. As you know, my favorite. Hopefully it'll withstand the taste test, right? So here's a, the consistency, just like oatmeal, right? Hmm. A little bit lacking on the, the maple and brown sugar taste. It tastes more like just plain uh, oatmeal. Uh, you can smell the maple and brown sugar. 
I just can't taste it very well. Not in this batch anyway. Definitely not what I'm used to. I, I'm used to something with a little more uh, flavor when it comes to the maple and brown sugar. But uh, nonetheless, um, it's the consistency is great. Doesn't taste that bad at all. And uh, uh, the serving sizes look uh, uh, pretty comparable to what they should be for the number. Of, this is supposed to be eight servings. Looks like there is uh, probably uh, pretty good portions at eight servings. Uh, the mac and cheese is supposed to be four different servings. And uh, I believe that to be more than enough for that. And then creamy rice, excuse me. The creamy rice and vegetable dinner, that's supposed to be four servings as well. Uh, I think so. Um, anyway, overall, I think it tastes pretty good. It turns out really well. So. so, hey, thank you for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. And I guess the question comes down to whether or not I feel that we would ever need that kind of uh, food or whatever, get to the point where we need to eat that kind of food. And uh, it's a very simple answer, I guess. My, my answer would be no. And uh, the reasoning would be I feel very confident in not only my abilities, but also my ability to train others to do what we needed to survive, such as hunting, uh, fishing, uh, gardening. Um, and when it comes to it, to begging, borrowing, uh, bartering, what we need to survive when the inevitable happens. Again, like I said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then you can leave some comments and questions below. And as always, God bless you. Stay safe and have a wonderful day.